Welcome to RC Cincy. Today we have the top race, uh, what's it say? Top race mini series, uh, top races manufacturer. This is the mini series remote control trucks mini series, uh, 164 scale. Uh, it shows a little controller right here, so it is remote control. Uh, and also underneath says, here, you get a close up. That's what it looks like. Uh, on the back side, you will see uh, all the other ones you can get. You can get a couple of different excavators, a front loader, a dump truck, everything. I'm curious to see if the excavator can dump in the dump truck or if the loader can, uh, or if they're just kind of move around a little bit. I don't know all the full functionality it's gonna have, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's gonna be able to dig or, or whatever else. If it has like a cycle in the bucket or how that may that work, we'll have to find out. Collect them all. Uh, it is 27 megahertz. So watch what megahertz the other ones are because the remotes will interfere with each other. Just to let you know, that's the advantage of 2.4 gigahertz. If you have the same frequency, you're kind of messing with it. Uh, it doesn't say what kind of batteries it requires. So we do have both. It says imported and distributed by Top Race. Uh, 227 megahertz made in China. Uh, has a batch number and a date, 1-10-2021. So it is a newer batch. Uh, I purchased this off of Amazon. I think it was $19.99, but there was a coupon in there that brought it down to $17. So I thought, why not? I actually had this in the cart when I bought some stuff for my tank and I forgot I had it in the car. So when I paid for the tank filters, I paid for this. So <laughs> why not? Kind of funny, right? Um, so let's see how this opens up. I have not opened this. This is gonna be an unboxing and then we'll also do a little test with it. Why not? So I'm gonna try to move this along here. Uh, oh, there we go. It's a nice tight fit. And I guarantee Frank, oh no, it's got a crack right there. Oh well, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be displaying it in this anyways. So that's how that is. Where's the remote? Oh, the remote pops. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you press this button right here, right? And the remote pops out. That's really cool for 20 bucks. It does also have a manual set that to the side it also has a little antenna <laughs> that's kind of cool because it is megahertz so let's screw this into here you can clearly see where it screws in uh it has a auto demo button it has a couple other lights like bind light like it says one says charging light one says function light it has an off and on switch it has a it looks like a up and then down and then a couple directional pads. So I'm not sure exactly how that's gonna work. Uh, there's a little thing you open up, rechargeable excavator. That is a nice touch. So the excavator itself is rechargeable. So it's gonna recharge off the batteries in here. So you wanna use some good batteries. I'd imagine there'll be double A. Let's see. So it did not say on the package, which was kind of weird, right? So let's reach into my trusty pocket. Yes, I have a screwdriver in my pocket. <laughs> The screwdriver is old, leave it alone. <laughs> it came apart. Hold on, let's see if it works. Still works. So, we are going to, we're going to unscrew the screw. You are going to need a screwdriver, just like so. Be careful not to lose the screw. And it looks like two AA batteries. Uh, so we'll just grab two good energizer. Grab some, use alkaline, don't mix alkaline, but I'll use a good alkaline battery just because it's going to provide. That's definitely triple A, sorry. Triple A. Don't worry, we have dirt, we have energizer, triple A's too, because I wasn't sure what batteries it would need, but I knew it would need batteries, obviously. So these are the uh, energizer max, so it should have good alkalinity punch to it, so it should last a little while. Now these look too small. 
Am I like special? <laughs> it was double A. I'm special, honey. Leave me alone. <laughs> Mistakes were made. So I see what it is, is this goes up and then this other one kind of squeezes in there by pushing this one in. Or wait, do you put this one in last? Ha. Huh? Right? Okay, so you put that one in there. And then you put that in there. Ah, that's a tight fit. Two AA, AA batteries, not AAA, by the way. So you have two batteries. This is going to run the remote and also charge the excavator. Now, I'm not sure what milliamp. I know it's a single cell. I'm not sure what milliamp it is. If you can, because uh, sometimes they make those little USB, little plug charges like this that you can actually charge instead of using your batteries. But I'm not sure. I'm sure it's a 1S, but I'm just not sure. Uh, not too sure about its, you know, output or what do you need to charge it. So this, how does this work? Why is it so tight? So wait, does that also undo There's the tape on it? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, honey. I don't know what I'd do without you. I'm over here like trying to, we're not gonna go that route. I don't have nails that long, so let's. That's much better. Oh, it is so cute. It's like a baby. So there is one screw holding the excavator in place. I guess if you wanna display it, you could just. Oh, it latches forward. So you can technically just go boom and put it back on or and have it on display. Unlatch it. Just simple as that. It shows the 27 megahertz. It does have an off and on switch right there. It also has a spot for the plug. I doubt the battery is charged. So what we'll do is before we got there and test it, because we have to do another video anyways. We'll go ahead and make sure the excavator is in the off position, then plug this in. This is just the JST charger single cell. I wonder if I could use this. Here. I turn it on and then you see, look, charge light. See the charge lights lit up? If I unplug that, the operate, the function light should be on. So, uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want this to either change from what it is now. See the cell light? It's either gonna turn off or flash or something different than now. The low and let you know, let's turn it on. No, it doesn't do anything uh, when it's charging. So just leave it in the off position while it's charging. Oh wow, this turns and then it seems like, yeah, there's a little, this may have a functioning arm, not 100% sure, but that is so cool. So it's 164 scale. If you were to take a bunch of these and line them up, uh, uh, 64 of these will be the length of the real thing. I don't know how accurate that is, uh, but yeah, uh, let's look at some of the details on it. It looks like a, like the Huina ones that you always see, like the 1550. It's got little rubber tracks. Uh, it's got the same little shape back here. See that little turn right there, that angle. Uh, same cab. You know that looks similar. The metal. That's a plastic bucket, but the bucket looks just like the other one. Remember. The Huina one, I should should have brought it to show you guys. Uh, it's pretty cool. It looks like it will actually move. The arm will actually function. That would be so cool if the arm actually moves. I don't know if it's going to dig, but it should function, right? So maybe we can show you the controls. Maybe it has enough juice to show you the controls. So let's unplug it. You can see, now if you turn it on, there's no light on until it searches for this one, I'd imagine. Boop. There we go. So we got, oh no, track popped off. You gotta be careful with that. I kinda did that. So you have, let's test it. You have forward, let's see. Forward, back, left, right. So it does work. Let's see what this button does. And it does the same. So. That's the demo button. 
Let's hit stop on the demo button. So what actually makes the arm go up? That's a little disappointing. I don't know why I thought the arm would go up. Nah, nah, uh oh. I thought the arm was remote control. It's not, it's it's hand control. Rig it, scoop, dig, lift up. Put the arm in any position you want, it'll stay that way. And it just drives. That is the biggest bummer right there. Uh, I guess theoretically, if you thought about it, you could get a little geared motor in there and you have to have a stop point, but then it would just lift the arm up. You'd have to have another little geared motor to, to do this. You know what I mean? Then you have to have another one to do this. So it'd be three different little motors in there. You can see it's hollow. I should have realized it. I'm not saying that it's bad, but like, why would they have... Oh, carpet will cause you to pop off your truck, by the way. But what's bummed out about it is what made me think that it actually moved was this button. Like it has four back, left, to right. Like, why would you even need this side? You know what I mean? Does it go faster? Maybe it, it goes faster. Hit them at the same time, forward and forward. <laughs> I mean, it scoots and it's cute and it looks good. It's just gonna have to do that function with you actually doing it, and that kind of takes the fun out of it, out of RC. Um, I, I actually got a big bag of dirt. <laughs> this is my testing dirt bag. I thought it would actually dig. It's looking like the bag of dirt for and everything. Anyways, I gotta use it for the other product as well. But like a uh, little bit. What's the demo button? So demo button just moves back and forth. Yeah, that's all demo button does. Oh, it's turning a little bit. That's the demo button. <laughs> Stop the demo button. Frank wants to eat it. So it has off and on switch, rechargeable off and on switch, rechargeable battery. You can see the small little like drone style bat motors, one on each side, which makes perfect sense. Uh, a little board. I'm sure it's got a battery in here that's rechargeable. 27 megahertz the dump truck kind of makes sense but i feel like the other ones are just going to drive around too i don't think there's going to be any functionality to the other ones as well let's look at the manual really quickly just get maybe some more specs on it some more information on it um yeah so it actually shows the front end loader here yeah it just shows you how to install the batteries how to charge it everything already new guide uh yeah, so it's basically, uh, yeah, automatic demo button. It's got your forward reverse button. Then it's got another forward reverse button and a left and right. So, yeah, it's got two driving buttons. I guess whenever they designed this, maybe they have one that can dump. Or maybe they can have one that does something else. I don't know, honestly. But to be honest with you, a, a little disappointing. I probably should have known this scale. Uh, they do have small scale ones like this. And they are remote control, but they're extremely expensive. We're talking hundreds of dollars because they have like real little metal tracks, metal bucket, you know. Uh, I don't think they're hydraulic. I think they're like all servo driven, but like really small ones built in. And, you know, they actually dig and turn. You can actually turn this by hand though. So you can maybe pose it a, pose it a certain way at a construction site. I don't know. Maybe drive around a little bit, but you're not going to dig with this. So... These little rubber tracks can pop off. You just pop them right back on, no big deal. Um, yeah, if it was a little bit bigger, I would convert it to radio control, but there's no way. I have, I don't have the little stuff, the electronics, the room, the size, anything. Like, there's no way I could do that. But at the end of the day, I think it still looks cool. It, you know, and there's his bone. <laughs> it still looks cool. It does technically, it is technically still radio controlled. I know. A little bit of a bummer more of display kind of thing still has the rechargeable plug on it um you know it wasn't a lot if it would have been a little more than that i'd have been even more disappointed but i guess for 17 dollars, it's not terrible it's not good either uh my opinion it's more like 10 bucks just because it dries but it's not bad i mean you got to make a dollar or two right so 
there you have it guys the little excavator uh, i just wanted to feature this on the channel uh and not that a kid wouldn't enjoy this like it would still technically drive and stuff and they can still technically uh you know take their time and actually dig in some soft dirt lift up turn an excavator dump in a little truck then you know drive the other dump truck away or whatever so these still can be fun i guess better than just the little scale one it doesn't do anything at all that just looks like an excavator but doesn't do anything so this one makes a little more sense it's stiff enough to actually hold like a bucket load it, it's a little bit it doesn't turn as nice of an angle but it'll still hold a little bit of dirt in there uh, it's still playable with you can still play with it and then just drive it around so it's not terrible but it's not good either you know what i mean it's one of those things i think a kid would enjoy if i had growing up if i ever had something this small remote control i've been blown away so yeah uh, not bad so there you have it guys that's going to do it for this one i just wanted to feature this on the channel it like i said i kind of purchased it by mistake uh i don't regret it not for the price uh and then remember to fold your antenna away uh technically you can still store everything uh make sure you also turn off your um transmitter you can store the wires and everything in here right and you can still theoretically uh pop this in just like so and you can still store your antenna right here and you can still i wish it didn't have a crack in it but you can still flip this upside down slide this on here it's like a little bit of dirt scratch marks on it slide lock it on there just like so you don't have to put the screw in there and you can still put your little make sure you adjust the boom accordingly <laughs> and you can still pop that on and display it it's cute it's not terrible you know what i mean obviously clean off that tape which i can do later but it's not that bad it's okay um so yeah there you have it 17 bucks just a little little truck to drive around or a little remote control excavator there's the manual and that's pretty much it so thank you so much guys for watching uh stay tuned we have some other cool uh construction equipment that we'd like to feature on the channel we have some cool modifications and reviews coming up so stay tuned for all that i cannot wait and uh i actually have a new product that i'm here to feature on the channel another high uh another uh drone that drives and does a bunch of other cool stuff and and a little uh a little uh good news on this video is i'll be announcing a giveaway very very shortly uh we'll figure everything out and then we'll announce it there will be its own announcement video um, and I cannot wait to share that with you guys. All that I ask is just simply to subscribe and like, uh, you know, everything is free. Cost you nothing. It will be in all, uh, 48 states and, uh, not, and, um, or all 50 states. And it's usually shipped to all lower 48 states. But anyways, uh, I will also offer, uh, for international. So anyone can win this, uh, as long as you have Amazon, they're typically Amazon gift cards. So, just to give you a hint, as long as you have Amazon, you should be able to get it. Even if you don't, I think you can still purchase it. Uh, so there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.